Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetTool.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and a quick review of the Panasonic P81 which is a phablet device which has been launched in India today. It has been launched for an MRP of 19,990 whereas you can easily buy it for a price in between 18 to 19,000 uh, which is the bargain price not the official price of the device. So here we have the device uh, with the packaging as well and I'm going to show you what all comes within the package. I have actually used this device for like uh, two to three hours now uh, before I actually do this unboxing for you. So I have the experience of the device, how it, how it is actually behaving in terms of the overall UI transitions and uh, what all applications are running and whatever it is there on the phone. So let me just show you the things which you get within the package of the phone. So here I have the box which is quite difficult to open as of now. So let me just open this. So here I have the package and inside the package you get all these things which is there uh, which includes the flip cover which comes inside the package you have the IMEI stickers a flip cover which has a finish at the back side which is going to be glossy however the back cover on this device is going to be a leather like back cover which you will get by default and the flip cover is going to be glossy in terms of the finish as far as the back side is concerned and this is how it looks like you get a flip cover with front which actually looks very good and it is kind of leather finish i am not sure whether it is pure leather or not but very good premium finish you get with this device as for the flip cover which comes within the package it can also protect your screen and in order to fit the flip cover you don't need to remove the back cover you just need to place your device inside and it will get fitted and it is not an intelligent flip cover so it is not a magnetic flip cover it is a normal flip cover so let's take a look what we have in the package apart from the flip cover we have the micro USB cable for data syncing and charging which comes within the package and then you get in-ear headphones with a module over here with a mic to pick call you do not have volume controls and this is how the audio lead look like and we have the universal USB charger as well which comes within the package so this is a 1 ampere charger 1000 ampere in terms of the overall current uh, 1000 milli ampere in terms of the overall current and 1 ampere in total which is the output current and we also get an additional screen guard which comes within the package this is a good quality screen guard as per them and this is the quick start guide which you get within the package a warranty card and these are all the things which you will get within the package of this phone so let me just keep all these things aside and let's take a deeper look over the Panasonic P81. Let me just get rid of this flip cover as well. So the flip cover is not very tight, that is something I can say initially, but it looks good and this is how the package looks like. At the back side of the package we have the specifications of the device mentioned. We have some features mentioned which include gesture play, multiplay, play more, Popeye player, music cafe and all these we will explain you explain all these features to you it has a 1.7 gigahertz octa-core processor 5.5 inch high definition display which is a 720p display you have 13 megapixel rear camera with autofocus you have the front camera which is a 2 megapixel camera fit focus 4.2 jelly bean is there on this device 2500 lithium polymer and battery you have 1 gb of ram 8 gb of internal memory is there on this device and then you get a micro SD memory card slot it is a dual sim phone so you can insert two sim card the first sim card will support 3g and you have wi-fi and gps navigation also supported so this is how the device looks like you do have some premium offers from uh, evernote as well in which you get six months of premium subscription you get some offers from hangama where you can download videos worth 1000 rupees and then you get some offer from india today and then you also have a readware application which is again an application which allows you to read newspaper and other comic and magazines for free on this device once you buy it so these are all the things which are mentioned on the box as you can see the mrp mentioned on the box is 19,990 whereas it is available for a lesser price and here we have the device with us and this device in terms of the overall form factor looks good you can easily hold the phone in one hand however uh, it might be difficult to use this phone with one hand because one handed usage is going to be limited the display size is pretty big it has an IPS LCD display so the wing angles are also pretty good you can view the display from extreme angles without much of an issue 
front on the front over here you have a 2 megapixel camera which is fixed focus camera you have the earpiece over here at the bottom you have the touch capacity button which are there on the body of the phone and at the back side you have the loudspeaker over here which will again get blocked when you place the device like this on a table over here you have a 8 megapixel camera with LED, uh, not 8 megapixel but 13 megapixel camera autofocus camera with LED flash it can also record high definition videos as well you will just confirm the resolution and over here you have the power and sleep key which is finished in chrome looks good on this side you have the volume rocker which is again a chrome button a finished in chrome a plastic button basically and once i remove the back cover which i can do i can show you the battery the battery is 2500 milliampere hour on this device which we have already inserted we have a micro sd card slot over here the sim first sim card slot over here will accept a normal size sim card the second sim card slot will also accept a normal size sim card and this one will support 3g whereas this one will support 2g connectivity only so this is how the phone looks like in terms of the overall form factor uh, and the specifications and connectivity. At the bottom you have the micro USB port for data syncing and charging. And taking a look of the phone, the first thing which you see on the phone on the lock screen, you have the option of unlocking the phone with a gesture. You can open the SMS application by drawing S. You can open camera by drawing a rectangle on this device. So let me just unlock the phone as of now. And this is how you can unlock it. And once you unlock it, you will see this kind of a custom UI which is running on top of Android. So it is not the stock Android UI which you will get on this device, but the overall UI in terms of the overall transitions and effects as of now is looking kind of smooth. This is how the notification center will look like. As you can see, you have all the toggles over here which are required. Here we have all of the notifications. You can delete the notifications as well. You can go to the settings directly from here. Under settings, if you take a look over the about phone, we can see that the version of Android which is running on this device is 4.2.2, which is good. And again, it is not running KitKat, so which is a kind of a disappointment, but they are going to give KitKat on this device as well within a month. By end of June, I guess you should get KitKat on the Panasonic P81 as promised by Panasonic. So taking a look over the storage scenario, this device has inbuilt storage of 8 GB, which is pretty good. Uh, again, with it, with this inbuilt storage, you get around 5.63 GB available to the user. And as of now, 5.43 GB is going to be available and the device is just out of the box. So this is going to be the available storage which you will get on this device. There are some pre-installed applications and games uh, which will come pre-installed on this device. We will show you that as well. And you do have the option of selecting the default right disk as well. So that means you can actually insert an SD card into this device and you can select an SD card later on in order to install application directly on the SD card. You can do that on this device, which is going to help you a lot. So apart from this, if we take a look over the other settings, uh, you do have settings over here for the display and I can show you the display settings as of now under the display settings We do have support for automatic brightness which confirms that you have proximity and embed light sensors over here Which is a good thing and then you come to the wallpaper settings You do have support for live wallpapers local wallpapers are also supported and within the wallpaper application settings You have the option of changing and setting a high definition wallpaper Which you can directly install and download basically and then set it as a default wallpaper on the device which is again going to be helpful you can set the wallpaper either for the lock screen for the home screen or for the app list preview you can set different wallpapers for all these and i can set the same wallpaper as well for all these things which is again a good thing it will take some time let me just do it uh, till the time it downloads and set this wallpaper so this wallpaper is now set as you can see it is a high definition wallpaper looking pretty good so in all the kind of customization features you get on this device are kind of extensive you get a lot of customizations which include gestures which include uh, downloading custom wallpapers as well which is always good Let, let's take a look over the ram scenario this device has one gb of ram and let me just check out whether how much of that is actually available to the user so as of now, out of 1 GB of RAM, 590, 600 MB of RAM is being used and 349 MB of RAM is free out of the box. So this is on the first port and this much amount of RAM is actually available. We have not installed any applications and games on this device as of now. So this is going to be the default RAM. You do have support for portable Wi-Fi hotspot option as well. You can create a Wi-Fi hotspot. You do have support for USB tethering as well on this device, which is again going to help you. As far as the uh, battery is concerned, you do have a battery power saving application as well. So you do have CPU power saving, which you can enable in case you would like to have more battery backup from this device. So which is always good. As far as the 
perfect. A dedicated application is concerned for the power saving. You do have a power saving dedicated application as well, which will come to install, which will save a lot of battery on this device. Right now it is 43, 40%. And then with normal use, you can actually set it to power effective use as well, which will disable certain features on the device, which includes these. And you can also set it to the long standby mode as well, in which it will decrease the brightness of the display and it will do other things as well and you will get much higher battery backup in the long battery saving mode basically the long power saving the long standby mode will actually help you get more battery backup on this device these are the applications which will come installed you get a large number of useful applications which will come installed including quick dial you have so quick dial is an application which allows you to set certain shortcuts of certain people so you can dial them by just doing a tap and then we have these applications which which comes installed, let me just talk about them. You have Times of India application, a Snapdoc application, Sony Live application to watch live TV on the go for free for some time. For a month, one month, you could do that. Evernote application, premium version you can use for six months. You also have a file manager which will come installed on this device, which will again help you do a lot of file navigation on this device without any issues. You have Hungama application. You also have a hot and trendy application which will actually show you all the latest offers and other things. This, is applic this application is not working as of now because we are not connected to internet so these are the applications which you will get you get large large number of applications some of them are going to be useful some of them may not be useful but again you can actually install some of the applications out of these so let me just show you the location settings as of now so as far as location settings are concerned this device does support gps navigation and you just need to enable this and these two options should also be checked before you can actually you start using gps navigation on this device make sure all these things are checked and then you can use this gps navigation on this device without any issue so all these things are there apart from this let's take a look over the audio profiles so under audio profiles we can say that this device does have a large number of audio profiles and again this is a kind of a custom UI so the UI which we see on settings is a custom UI and it is not the stock Android UI and with time it might show you some amount of graphic lag taking a look of the phone dialer this is how the phone dialer look like as you can see this phone dialer is also pretty good and also give you the option of making a video call directly which is going to help you a lot so definitely this is something which is pretty good i would say you have the option of making a video call directly from the phone dialer you have the option of dialing the number either from the sim card one or from the sim card two which is again going to help you a lot and this is not the the stock phone dialer this is a custom phone dialer when it comes to the messaging application this is how the messaging application looks like it can just go into the message uh, to create a new message and you ha do have some uh, pre-installed uh, templates in which you have some messages written which you can uh, s simply input and then you can input the number and you can send the message pretty quickly the keyboard key size is pretty big in size although you do not have continuous input supported on this device which is a kind of a disappointment but you can type on this device without any issue because the keys are pretty big and you can easily type with thick as well as thin fingers as far as the ui is concerned the ui does allow you to add multiple files as well into this message and then you have a lot more options as far as smileys and other things are concerned you have a custom messaging ui on this device which is again going to be so as you can see here we have the camera UI and the camera UI is not stock Android it is a kind of a custom UI which we see on this device and let me just take a look over the settings you do have C mode white balance location you can customize when it comes to other settings you can take a photo right now it does have auto focus as well and tap to focus is also supported let me just take a photo right now in this kind of lighting conditions so in this kind of light conditions uh, the kind of light which was falling on the subject was pretty good so the picture is also looking good in terms of the color production as well as in terms of the details it is looking pretty good so there is no problem with this device as far as uh, the daylight photography is concerned and this is something which is kind of common for every other phone as well let me just take a photo right now with some uh, shadow kind of environment and which we have less amount of light let me just take this photo again so I have taken another photo which is this one and this one in terms of the colors is looking good but in terms of details it is showing some lagginess it might be due to the shaken device I cannot confirm that but the overall picture quality from the 13 megapixel camera is going to be pretty good you can record high definition videos as well and let me just show you the front camera quality as well so this is how the front camera quality will look like you can do a pretty good quality of high definition video chat from the front camera uh, again it is not high definition but near to high definition I would say if 
you have good amount of light falling on your face, then you can actually do a pretty good video quality uh, video call from this device. Uh, from the front camera which is a 2 megapixel camera again pretty good i would say in terms of the overall color reproduction and the broadcast so the camera is good the overall configuration of the device is good enough the build quality is also good the weight of the device is kind of light it has a true octa core a mediatek 6592 chipset which is 1.7 gigahertz cpu you have 5.5 inch high definition display it is a 720 display 720p display so again the pixel density is not that great but you will not notice any pixelation on this device uh, which I can see as of now. The viewing angles of the display are also pretty good. Uh, you have a 2500 mAh battery, battery and then you have gravity sensor, light sensor, proximity sensor. You also get flip cover and all other accessories which you will get within the package are also pretty good. Considering for the price you are getting this device, it is slightly overpriced I would say. Uh, you can actually, uh, the best price for this device is going to be 15 to 16,000 rupees but right now it is available for approximately 18,000 rupees which is not a bad price as well. So do let us know if you have any specific question for the Panasonic P81. We really like this device as far as the overall features, the camera, the form factor. It is kind of a replication of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo in terms of the overall design. It does have a kind of a leather-like finish at the back. However, it is not leather, but it is looking like leather and pretty good, I would say. It is a matte finish, rubberized kind of material at the back side, which does give you a very good grip. This phone is equally handy to hold in one hand, but slightly bigger for one-handed usage. So that is one of the problems you might face over time while using this device. This device is going to be available only in black color, which is this one. So do let us know if you have any specific question for this device, we would love to help you. You can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.